Yeah, you know, the New York Times uh, editor, uh, he, he, Peter DeVries, once said that the miracle of marriage is not so much that parents raise children, but that children raise adults. And that doesn't mean they're bossing you around. That means they help you to reach all those virtues that help you to become that fully formed adult. You know, are you more a fully formed adult now that you've had children and you've learned to be more patient, more understanding, more self-controlled when they're arguing with you about, you know, getting out for school in the morning or what they're going to wear or who their friends are going to be? We learn from each other, not just the kids learning top down. In the school of love model that the Catholic Church proclaims as the model for the family, mom and dad are in charge, but their authority comes from service, just like Christ's authority comes from service. You know, at uh, you know, before at Jesus, uh, through his passion, death, and resurrection, you know, when he was in the room with the disciples and he put the apron around his waist and he got down and he washed their feet. And, and he did that as a model for what Christian leadership was really about. Well, we need to take that model as parents. Our authority comes to, uh, uh, excuse me, as parents comes to us through our, the service that we give to our family. I think one of the best ways to see this is that when we talk about living in a domestic church, let's look at the religious orders that are out there, that live in community, because God calls us all to live in community. We can't just have this, you know, one-on-one -on -one relationship with God and be Catholic. We have to live in a community situation, whether it's a family or a religious community. And when there is a superior appointed to a religious community, that's like, say, an order of sisters, and you've got a mother superior, first of all, they're appointed. Somebody's decided that, you know, this is what they should be. God's told them this. And they take that appointment very seriously, you know, with a great deal of, of humility. This is not somebody coming in who's just going to say, okay, this is what you're doing and when you're doing it, and I don't care what your gifts and vocation are, and I don't care what, what you're able to bring to this community. You're just doing what I tell you to do. No, you have a religious community living together where they discern things together. Does the Mother Superior have final say? Does she have a structure? Yes, but she knows that they have to live within the mission of that particular religious community because each religious order has its own mission and its own charism, just as each family does, which is, by the way, one of the reasons why you don't want to model your family and your child rearing after the people next door down the street or the most prestigious people that you see on TV or in your congregation. Because their charisms, their gifts from God that they're expected to live out are very different than the ones he's given you and your family. You know, this, this first point under the School of Love model, the idea that, that the family life in the Catholic vision is really rooted in mutual self-donation. Well, so that first point, which is what we're sharing now, is that the idea of parental authority comes from parental service. Well, the other piece of that, though, is that it's not just parents serving kids, is that we have to actually expect our kids to serve the family as well to the best of their ability at all times. So that, in that way, we're encouraging our kids constantly to give what they can with regard to doing the chores around the house, with regard to cheerful obedience. You know, one of the things that people consistently are surprised that we talk about on our radio program is that we as parents have a right to expect cheerful obedience from our kids. Not, all right, I'll go to the dresser. If my, if my kid does that, I'll say, hey, come here a second. You know, I'm not going to get into a fight with them about this, by the way. I'm just, you know, this is a teachable moment. I'm a teacher. I'm, you know, they're, they're my disciple, my student. And I'm going to help them express this more appropriately. So, hey, I need you to clear the table after dinner. Oh, all right. Come here, buddy. Can we try that again? I need you to clear the table after dinner. Okay, Dad. That was a little bit better, um, but could we try that again except without the eye roll this time? Um, son, I need you to clear the table after dinner. Okay, Dad. Much better, but could we try it one more time but with a little more friendly tone, please? Son, would you mind um, clearing the table after dinner? Okay, Dad. You know what? That was beautiful. Thank you. I really appreciate that. You know, and I mean, it sounds silly. Okay? But what you're really trying to show here is a couple of things. First of all, you're not going to get into a power struggle with your kids. There is no power struggle. 
Resistance is futile. You're the parent. You control everything, right? Why would we put ourselves in this position where we're struggling with our kids, right? Let's, let's, just, let's not even assume that they could win. They can't unless we give them that power. Number two, I'm trying to be pleasant about this. I'm going to use humor. I'm going to be relaxed about it. I'm going to be calm because I don't want to project this sort of attitude that I, you know, I have a chip on my shoulder with my kids. You know? And then three, I want to teach them the virtue, not just of obedience, but of actually being part of a team. You know, as families, this is part of that school of love idea, we, we have to be part of a team. And a team doesn't just slavishly and dutifully go out into the field and pass the ball around, and the coach is like, you, know, you, need, to make, you need to make a touchdown this time. All right, coach, fine. No, it's, we have to get it, we have to make a touchdown. Let's go, guys, let's go, let's go. Yes, 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 and then they go out there, right? That we can expect that from our kids as a family team, that we're going to do this family thing, and we're going to do it cheerfully. And we're going to do it excitedly. And we're going to be glad that we're together.